Start with breaking news. This afternoon, this afternoon, the all clear has been given at an East Carolina University dorm that had been evacuated after a suspicious concerning package was found inside. Police say there's no threat to the campus. However, some students were concerned. Jalen Holloway is currently outside the dorm and is live now with more details. Jalen. Yeah, Bailey. Well, despite the large law enforcement presence, ECU Police say that this suspicious package turned out to be just a class project and that there is no threat to Legacy Hall that you see here behind me or the campus. Now students who live here at the dorm have started to make their way back inside now that the all clear has been given. But some said that this shouldn't have been a joking matter. ECU Police Chief Chris Sutton says that they first locked down Legacy Hall around 11 56 a.m. Tuesday morning and then work to clear the building. Legacy Hall, which is located on College Hill, has about 365 students. Around 2 p.m. Sutton said the SBI had just arrived to make sure the package was not a threat to the building and the all clear was given around 3 p.m. The objects that were in question are not a threat, said Sutton, in a follow-up press conference shortly after 3 p.m. this afternoon. He also continued to say that it was explained that it was part of a class project, as I mentioned, and that's all that he has to say as of right now. And Sutton said that the package was found in a student's room, and it looks like it was intended to be a joke. He said a video was first posted on social media. Anything that can be perceived as a threat is never something that should be joked about. Uh, because the effects that it has uh, runs a lot deeper, deeper than humor. Sutton also said that ECU police had gotten warrants and searched the students' room for any other devices. He said, quote, the Snapchat video showed the item and then it showed an individual's face and there was some verbiage that referenced it was, was it a bomb rather or not, Sutton said. And then he went on to continue to say that the only way to determine it is to have the item cleared. Now he says that they will now consult with the district attorney's office to see if there will be any charges brought to any student or students that were involved. And they said that if a student is um, charged that that identity will be released but if not and they are you know disciplined internally by the university it would not be we will have more on this but for now in greenville jaylen holloway witn news Alrighty, thank you jaylen and sutton also says the students who received the package are cooperating with them so far